हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द वेक्टर कैलकुलस गेट 2018 मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी दीज टू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वाज आस्क इन दिस मैथमेटिक्स एग्जाम सो लेट्स सी क्विकली रिकॉल दैट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 व्हिच इज ऑफ द टू मार्क्स एंड रिलेटेड टू द डबल इंटीग्रेशन व्हाइल दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 44 अगेन ऑफ द टू मार्क्स अगेन इट इज ऑफ द डबल इंटीग्रेशन ओवर दिस सरफेस एस now you can see you can easily get the 2 plus 2 marks 4 within a 1 minutes how you can grabs in your gate 2022 or on the future examination how you can solve that so whenever there is a double integrations are there what you can do is you have to always try to think about to the polar coordinates so that's the only simplest way else you can simply draw the graph but here you can see that domain is not given to you particularly if my domain is given to you like x plus y of x plus y is less than 1 x square is greater than 1 and so on then you can draw the graph and find its reason but in this example there is nothing is given to you then the best way is that you have to convert into the polar form so what is the polar form of this when you convert x is r cos theta y is r sin theta then your dx dy is nothing but my jacobian of dr dt and all of you know that jacobian of this uh, uh, polar coordinate is nothing but my r so this term is what is that this is e raised to power what is x square plus y square is nothing but the r square of r dr of d theta now how you can integrate them so what is the limits are there since it is of the center is origin radius is 2 so you can take as a radius 2 and coordinates and angle is my 0 to 2 pi over the cos so what is that now you can integrate firstly with respect to r or firstly with respect to theta there is no problem because limits are constant so if you firstly integrate with respect to theta is a constant it's outside so this is there how you can take them you can take r square as say of the phi then 2r dr of, uh, is nothing but my d phi so i can multiply and divide by 2 so what is that this is pi 0 to 2 of say phi of d phi so what is that this is nothing but phi square by 2 so when you take phi then the limits are my 0 to 4 so what is the right answer of this this is nothing but phi square by 2 from 0 to 4 this is what is that this is my sorry this is e raised to power so what is that this is pi from 0 to 4 e raised to power minus of phi of d phi what is the answer of this e raised to power minus phi upon minus 1 from 0 to 4 what is that this is firstly is a pi so this option will cancel out this option cancel out only these two options are there now since it's a limit 4 when you substitute the value here what will happen this is e raised to power minus of 4 minus minus of plus 1 so 1 minus e raised to power minus of 4 is the right answer of this problem you can see over the second question this is question number 4 now whenever there is a double integration over the surface then what you have to do so you can convert them to the divergence theorem what is the divergence theorem is you can see this is nothing but my triple integration over this function that's a very simple now what you can do you have to find the divergence of this f what is the divergence of this f partial derivative of this with respect to x partial and so on so what is the right answer of this over the volume here so now this now since limits are my constant so what is that 3 is outside over the domain x over the domain y over the domain z so since limits are my constant you can simply integrate this is 1 minus 0 this is 2 minus 0 this is 3 minus 0 what is the right answer is there so this is a 3 to a 6 6 3 are 18 is the right answer of this problem always remember that whenever there is a integration of double integration of the surface you have to replace them to be the uh, divergence of them so that integration becomes the easier so i hope you can learn this session too so you can share this video to your friends till then best of luck students happy learning